Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. Could you pick Galilee out on the map? Could you do that? Let me help you. Turn in your Bibles to the back and find the map during the days of Jesus' ministry. The hated section of Palestine or Israel was Samaria. That's right in the center section. Go north through Samaria and you'll get to the northern province of Galilee. Just south of there is Nazareth. See it? Nazareth. Now to call Nazareth a city is a little bit of a stretch. Uh, Nazareth is a town. It's in the province of Galilee. And by the way, the further north, the less educated, the more rugged the culture, the rougher the accent. I don't know how you were raised, but uh, when I was growing up, our family and the stories that were told passed along information about towns. And uh, some towns had a bad name. You didn't want to be caught there after dark. I remember my dad saying. Some towns we would drive through were called holes in the road. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Nazareth was a little like that, sort of a dump. I, I'm sorry if that takes away some of the fun of the Christmas story, but I'm committed to truth and <laughs> not being a part of the Chamber of Commerce, I can speak freely. Uh, Speaking of that, one of the the books I've loved down through the years has been William Least Heat Moon's book, Blue Highways. Uh, uh, This man of um, American, uh, Native American descent, uh, hops in his van and travels all the blue highways on the map, the old maps. There were red highways and there were bordered highways. Then there were blue roads. Those are the back roads. And some of the places he names in the book just are just crack me up. There's Dime Box, Texas. Did you know there was a Dime Box? There's Scratch Ankle, Alabama. <laughs> Gnawbone, Indiana. Nameless, Tennessee. He spent a night in Nameless, Tennessee. Mud Lick, Kentucky. Why of Arizona is answered, why not in Mississippi? There's Igo in California down the road from Ono. When our um, interns took our trip not long ago, we were on our way to a ranch where we were going to stay, and on our way we went through Rising Star. Now, because I had been through Rising Star before, and the the guys are poking a little fun at me about it, saying someday the Lord's going to call you here to minister. Uh, (laughs) I I anticipated it, but we told these guys, you you wait, wait till you see Rising Star. I mean, and so we drive through it, and one of our guys says, it should be called Falling Star, really. (laughs) The grass growing up in the parking lots, and it's kind of a, and I had a friend say to me after the first morning service, you think Rising Star was bad. Where I was from, we went to Rising Star to shop. (laughs) He said, if it wasn't the end of the road, you could see it from there, uh, end of the world. Uh, that's Nazareth. Don't, don't, don't make it some heavenly scent, holy, or recovered hamlet like it's in the Alps. It's a dump. It's just a dump. Nazareth was a rugged and dirty place, but it was there, in that lowly town, that Mary was visited by the angel Gabriel and told she would bear the Messiah, the Savior of the world. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack where life and truth meet. The preceding Lifetrack presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, Meet Mary, the Favoured One, 
was copyrighted in 2002, and the Slave Track sound recording was copyrighted in 2013 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.